everybody. This is Laurie from Gables on the Go. I want to share with you this beautiful place, this wonderful day, and it's a surprise where it is. Should I tell you? Yes. Okay, we are in the Bahamas and the Exuma Islands, and we took a charter boat out here for the day and had a wonderful experience, and we're gonna share with you everything we did today. Let's go see. Well, we're waiting for our charter boat to the Exumas. So going it's going on be a boat, what, 200 miles round trip, right? 200 miles round trip today. <laughs> it's going to be a long day, but a lot of fun. This boat must be awful fast because we're doing, uh, I checked it from here to Nassau, from mm -hmm. Nassau to the first Exuma K or Key um, was 37 miles, but they say we're going 100 miles one way. So uh, this boat better be fast. The company that we went with was Exuma Escapes. They had several different itineraries, but the one we chose was called Swimming Pigs by Boat Five Island Adventure. And I tell you, you should plan ahead because we started the day before looking for a charter company and everyone was booked up. This was the only company that had the last four seats left. Here we are. Yeah, we just made it to our first stop with the island of the iguanas. Yeah. What was the name of this island? I don't know what the name of the island is, but there's iguanas everywhere. everywhere. Look at them over there. And they're fat daddies too. They've yeah. been eating good. Look at all those iguanas over there. <laughs> Coming out to get them something to eat. This water out here is just stunning. Look at this, clear. Super clear. I think this is where Kenny was when he filmed Save It for a Rainy Day. <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? Ow. Can't stand on that one. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got That's, my grape. <laughs> That's a big boy. You're not going to put the grapes. You're not going to put the grapes like this, see? Put it on the end yes, like that. Yes, they cannot get them. Yep. Got to keep the grapes on the end of the stick because you don't right. want to poke them. <laughs> but they're pretty good at taking them off the stick. Yeah. They say, whoo, mama, come here. Give me that grape. I think I fed a big one last time. Coming I think I need a everywhere. baby. I need somebody who needs some food. Who's going to be the first? Who do you think is <laughs> going to be here? You got a little guy coming out there to get you. Come on. <laughs> oh, got oh, it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Come here, big guy. Well, we ain't jump. <laughs> the ones in here, <laughs> The ones in Marathon get really long, go. though. Yeah. These guys just seem to get <laughs> fat, yeah. Look at that great big boat coming in. Ooh, power boat adventures. Nice. As we arrived at our second stop at Compass Key Marina, I was very excited because I knew we were gonna to get to swim with the sharks. I was also a little bit nervous because I've never swam with sharks before, but I had read that nurse sharks were the most tolerant of humans swimming in the water with them. They generally suck food off the ocean floor, hence their name, nurse shark, and I knew that I didn't wanna have my hands or feet anywhere near their mouths when I was in the water with them. Guys, we have just got to the marina at Compass K, or Compass Key as they call it here. One of these boats the other day, boat named Grace, it was over here on the other side of this one, was just at Atlantis. 
uh, yesterday. So they came over here, I guess, last night. This is just beautiful, this water. I thought the water in the Florida Keys was clear and beautiful, but <laughs> gotta be honest, this is even prettier. Sharks just keep pulling right up there and laying there. <laughs> Getting all their love. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Been on the water for almost a hundred miles. We got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you got a baby one. Oh my, look how long this one's tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't have another way at all. Nurse sharks. That's all you catch that. See, he just likes it. He just likes it. He wants to go. Watch out, he's going to get it. When they ask like that, you let him go. Put your hand in the pot. I know. Thank you, little friend. I just want to get here. Hanging out some more, isn't it? Your turn, your turn, my turn. There you go, baby. There's the baby. Poor daddy. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I know. I see item for everybody, isn't it? Must see, must do, have to. This so cool. is cool. This is very cool. Look at this. How beautiful. One right underneath me. Out here feeding the sharks, <laughs> and, we, and we meet a friend in the water. This is this is Stephen hey from Madison, Madison, uh, Mississippi. Mississippi. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with That's names right. and places. No worries, no worries. <laughs> and we swimming were all just sharks. Sitting, swimming with the sharks. That's right. Couldn't believe how beautiful this place is, and we get all the way out here and meet some friends. <laughs> Babe, did you ever yeah, think man, awesome. we could come all the way to the Exumas in the Bahamas and be? Out there floating around meeting sharks and somebody comes up and says, Gable's on the go. I think we've arrived. I think we are. That was that great. That was so cool. We love meeting was... people that have watched our channel and kind of know us. That's no fun. doubt, yeah. yeah. That's just always, it makes us feel so good that somebody's, somebody's actually watching and pay attention. <laughs> so he's got the conks right out of the water there. Uh, fresh. Fresh conks. See, they take out the conk. What they do is I uh, clean the shells up. And if my guests need them, no charge, it's a tip. That's See how lovely they are? That is cool. Those are pretty. Those yeah. are. Woo. Time to get back on the boat. Next stop, I think, are uh, it's either lunch or the pigs. I can't remember which. <laughs> Some baby pigs. Oh, look at all of them. Come on down, Mr. Oh, you just have to hold oh, the baby. You just got to hold the baby close to me. I can rub it like a real baby. Yes. Yes. 
No, let me see one of your hands. Let me see one of your hands. Open your hand. Okay. Open your hand. Got it in your hand. Do it, baby. Come on, right here. Stay right here. Now, let's say if he say, squee! You're going to feed him. Give him. Give him. Give him. Give him. Oh. Now he's going to be quiet. Take him to the beach and turn around and switch him. So you're going to hold a piece of bread. And what you're going to do, pinch it up small like that, OK? OK. If he say, squee! Squee! Here you go. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guy. Oh, nobody wants to swim with the pigs now. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's going to lay down. Watch for the mama. Hey, Lola. Who's your baby? Oh, he's okay. Oh, it's okay. That was rude. You have it? Yep. Here it is. About to get his ass bit again. Look at that guy just up here with his mouth open. <laughs> begging. He's begging. <laughs> okay, guys. Place your bet. Who you're betting on, the pig or me? Be swimming. This the pig. The pig. Place your bet. Who you're betting on? The, the pig. pig or me? <laughs> this is the race. You ready? Pig. Go, little guy, go. Go, little guy, go. <laughs> I'm being that sucker. Oh, he's winning. Who win? <laughs> you come on last, buddy. <laughs> that is so cute. So do these pigs stay out here all the time, or do you take them in somewhere? No, these pigs, this island goes like miles back, so they just live here. Wow. There's all the type of animals here, like goats, chickens. Everything. Really? Yeah. That is cool. All the little guys laying around in here. This is the way to have lunch in the Bahamas, right here. Look at that, how pretty. This water here in the Bahamas is just, just phenomenal. This little lunch buffet <clears throat> prepared for us here. A little salad bar. And we've got dirty rice and some really delicious fish. I've already tried that. Buffalo wings. Hot wings, regular wings, and some steamed veggies and fries. Not a bad little lunch at all. This is beautiful. It's like the content keys, but 10 times more. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> 100 times more. Wow. It's just like powder. It's like pudding. It is like, <laughs> like pudding. Like muddy. So pretty and white. Oh, look at that place over there, babe. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, it'd be a great vacation is to rent a house down here in the Exumas and then hire a charter captain to do the tours with you. It would, man. Some of these places are incredible. It's like a postcard. It is. Well, what have you thought about our trip to the Exumas so this far? It's been an amazing day. Um, you know, we first started out, it was early this morning, and you go, you know, out of the harbor and through the the seas and ride a long time and the waters, you know, be beautiful dark blue as usual. But then when you hit this area of the islands, it just blows you away because I've seen it in small parts, small portions, I guess. Yeah. But once you hit this where it's just miles and miles around you and you can't even see any dark blue anymore, 
and the shades, the variations of blues and greens are always changing. Now, we'll say this, I think polarized glasses are the key oh, yeah. for some that of that, helps. because when I take my glasses off, it's still beautiful, it's not as intense of color. Yeah. So get some polarized glasses if you do this trip. I will say, I always thought when you see these type waters in videos or in movies or whatever, you know, I just figured that's, they're enhancing that, you know, quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't think they are. <laughs> no, this is for real. I was not anticipating it being this beautiful. No, I wasn't either. I figured it would be pretty, but I didn't think these colors would be all these different shades of blue and it's mesmerizing man it i just, just all day long laurie's asked me a couple of times what's wrong with you <laughs> <laughs> to be honest i'm just kind of in awe i'm taking it in and i'm not talking much or saying much because no. i'm just everywhere i look is some of the most beautiful sights i've ever seen hi guys <laughs> hi <laughs> welcome to my sandbar <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. We love it. <laughs> and he's cleaning out the conch and having it for a snack. A yeah, they were taking it right out of the shell. And eating it. <laughs> it's beautiful though, isn't it? Yep, yeah. see, they've already taken it out. Yeah. Cleaned it out. Well, they, they crack that hole in the back, which breaks the suction, and then they pull it out the front side right here. No more conch for you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you already pulled that one out of there? Yep, all the meat is out. Guess what, guy? The, the meat, that the one. meat was in this captain here. Ate that one, didn't you, baby? That's the yeah. The captain eats this one. The meat was in this here. It's the behemoth for Igra. You eat with cones out of this, man. Your wife be in trouble at night. <laughs> <laughs> she be in trouble at night because <laughs> why this is nice. Keep that uh, away collect. from him. <laughs> That's a clip. She be in trouble at night. That's funny. <laughs> He's coming looking for that conch meat, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, smell that. Line over there, enormous teeth. CIA, CIA, United States, States, United 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 CIA from the United States of America. Everybody get locked up. You guys can stand up, you guys can walk around and take pictures. Yep, and then he's gonna go on the left and come down on the right. If you closely look at the airplane, you see the engine? That's one, that's one right there. It's still all together. You see how big the, the wings at? It's a DC tree, it's a war plane. This incident happened October 10th, 1979. Believe it or not, this plane was in the water 42, 43 years ago. We used to snorkel just the way the guys snorkel it. But unfortunately, some guys got into the plane, they thought they were going to get a gram or two, they come aboard the scraper, the plane are open, so they try to sue the company, and the company just chose snorkeling out the window. We apologize. That's the plane, the guys watch knuckles, watch blow, join the camp, fiery seal. So I don't know if you guys could hear what he was saying, but that is uh, Pablo Escobar's plane. And the island out there in front of us was where his, uh, his operation was. Oh, that's cool. So he just said that that's where Ja Rule had the fire festival, right on that island right there. <laughs> guys this was an all-day thing we were at the docks this morning at 8:15, mm -hmm. and we're not supposed to get back till about 5 30 and i'll say from all the things we've done in atlantis atlantis is beautiful it is everything's expensive <laughs> but is. for the money that you're spending to get out and see all of this for 400 oh. bucks a person yes now, this it. was money well spent this was and if you go to atlantis and want to spend you know some time there that's great but we would highly recommend taking one day at least to get out on the water oh yeah because you can't see all this from atlantis i mean you you see it but you can't see the detail and the different colors like you do yeah. here it's just a whole new world i am so glad that we did this this is our last day here we're leaving in the morning yep 
and uh, I'm so Sad. glad we did this because if we had done this trip, although we really enjoyed Atlantis, mm -hmm. if we had done this trip and not, well, if we didn't do it, we wouldn't have known, but <laughs> now that we know, <laughs> next time we come over here, I guarantee you this will be one of the things we do because this has been really, mm -hmm. really fun. Yes, and I think you can actually rent um, a boat, like a private charter, and I think it's about $2,000 a person to bring, you know, like four, it's a four people minimum maybe? Yeah, I asked him on that boat, they would have rented, we could have taken a private, just the four of us on that boat or however many people you want to take. Cause that boat she said could carry up to 25 people. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you got one person or you got 16, however many is in your group, four, whatever, uh, it was $8,000 for the day yeah. to charter that boat which ironically is exactly what it works out at the $400 rate and the people that are on the boat, it was right at eight mm -hmm. grand. So maybe if to, you had, you know, four couples split it up. I mean, I know that's still expensive, but my goodness, for the experience, yeah. you, nothing can touch this. And it's not been bad with all the people. It's a little tight on the boat, but not bad. No, we've been and, very comfortable um, in the back. I mean, back. they get you off the boat quick, get you out doing things and everybody and very, kind of disperses and they're very interactive they make sure like who hasn't you know held a shark who hasn't petted a pig who wants a picture and they make sure everybody gets a turn to do the things that we're doing yeah. so they don't leave anybody out and they're very helpful getting you on and off the boat and um it's just been a wonderful experience it has lots of fun well mm -hmm. worth the money definitely yeah so we hope you've enjoyed this trip with us it's been a real pleasure, and we hope to see you in the Keys as well to come see us there. But on your vacation, come over to the Bahamas and check it out. Absolutely. Hey guys, thanks for watching Gables on the Go. Be sure to like and subscribe on the channel. It helps us out. Um, and uh, drop us a line anytime. You can mm -hmm. always reach us if you're interested in real estate in the Florida Keys. You'll only be about an hour from here. That's right. <laughs> Our and plane flight a, was 36 minutes. <laughs> it's a short plane flight. and In uh, the air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for yeah. watching the channel. And we'll see you next time on Gables on the Go. Bye now. See ya.